So in the last video, we have seen different annotations of Mockito, like what is mock, what is test, what is run with Mockito JUnit runner, what is spy does, what is capture does. So mock, capture, spy, test, these were coming from the JUnit, either from JUnit or either from Mockito. So this all annotations we have seen. Now in this tutorial, before going to this tutorial, I would suggest to check this video which I've already created and link is already in the description and you can watch it from there and post that I would suggest to go for the code coverage part. So in this code coverage part, let me show you how we can check the code coverage. Let me minimize this as of now or just to demonstrate that things are running properly. Let me run the package as JUnit. So I will run as JUnit test cases. And to after running JUnit test cases, let me show the console also. Here the JUnit panel will come and I have written four test cases, which I've already written one test two, three and four. So four test cases are already here and which all are passed zero error and zero failure. So now the second part comes how to find the code coverage of any code which you have written. Before going to any part, I would suggest to write certain codes so that you can set it in your code part and get the code coverage. As of now, let's create a service class. So I will write here as a calculation service. And in this calculation service, let's write few methods like public int sum and some will take two integers so int num1 and int num2 so these two methods will be two numbers will be coming and it will return num1 plus num2 so this is how this data will be coming r e t u r n so Again, let's copy this part and let me give three more methods or I would say four, five methods. Second will be subtract. Third will be divide. Fourth will be multiply. And last will be remainder. So on subtracting num1 with num2, I'm just writing num1 minus num2. On dividing, I'm just writing num1 divided by num2. And third one is multiply. So num1 multiply with num2. Last comes the remainder part. Remainder, I'm going to pass this remainder num1 plus num2. So these all will be created. Just to demonstrate, let's go to the main application. I will call this class calculate class and calculate service equals new calculate service and I will say calculate service or I'll do sys out and sys out calculation service here to demonstrate that things are running as expected so dot sum and I'll pass 5 and I'll pass here as 3 I will run this application, run as Spring Boot application as of now. So after running, it will go to the main, obviously as main thing is there and it says port is already in use. So let's change the port just as for the resources. So server dot port equals 80, 81 as of now. Let's take 80, 81. And I will run this as Spring Boot app. So this is my project in which I've created a project and it is giving sum as 8. Let's write few more operations and with the same data. And here I will provide a string part and which right this is sum let me copy this part again add five more places four more places three four and five <coughs> sum subtract multiply 
divide and remainder so this will be sum this will be subtract method this will be multiply which we have already created this will be divide and this will be remainder so let's run this so i will run this application now as you can see sum will be 5 plus 3 8 5 minus 3 equals 2 5 into 3 15 5 divided by 3 since this is not decimal it will come out to be 1 dot something if it would have been decimal but this is an integer so it is coming 1 remainder is 2 after 5 dividing by 3 we will get the remainder as 2 so now comes the main part that how to find the code coverage to get the code coverage we should create at least few test cases to see if the code has been covered or not so in this test case i will mock my file let's go in the top only and here on the top i will write at the rate mock and calculation service which i have written already there i am going to call this class only inside this and call this as calculation service i will write a function so it will be public since it is a test case i will annotate with at the rate test and public void void and i am going to check sum so sum test and inside this sum test i would write a function to test if this is sum or not so i will call this function kind of when calculation service dot sum will be called and that that sum 5 comma 3 will be passed give me a sum as 8 and i will do an assert if this is coming equal to the expected data or not so i will simply say mogito service dot sum give me if it is coming as 8 or not that's it so let's run the test case again so i will run the test cases and after running it will give me instead of 5 it will give me 6 test case because all the 6 test case i have written so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so some test has already passed so 1 2 3 4 and 5 this one was the fifth one so some test has already passed now for the code coverage which we have already looked into I have demonstrated all these because then only I will be able to explain you how this code coverage works. So to get the code coverage, write ECL, Eclima. So Eclima code Java code coverage, either you can use Eclima or there are multiple ways you can go with it. Like the Google tool also is there, but in the Eclipse or STS, if you are using the best place to look into it for the Java code coverage is Eclima only. So it is already installed, it says. I would just update this. And once I will update this part and it will come out in the project directory. So I'll click on finish. And now let me run this as code coverage. So I will cover it as J unit test case. So here I'm going to check the test case coverage and let me expand this part and when I'll expand this part I will get a code coverage also so as you can see the code coverage also came what it says it says that these are the test cases which are already there and these are the main Java where we have the code coverage when you expand it it says how much is the code coverage already completed so now as you can see these are other test cases which is running and it says that the code coverage has not been done to see in more detail let's see it says there is zero code coverage which has already been done we should go for the code coverage part now let's run this class only coverage as or i would say run it from here and before running it from here this is a public class this has been called now let's go here 
so now just just to demonstrate let me do one thing let me directly call the method parts here and instead of inject mock let me call directly the service here so that we can see whether the code coverage has been done or not so i will call the service directly call service and this will be called inside this and automatically the coverage will change from this zero part to some different other value so let me again run this so just after running as you can see we have all the five cases running all has passed zero failure and zero error regarding the code coverage part it has slightly changed so if i go to this calculation service part as you can see let me expand it a little bit more sum is already covered 100% so now let's go to the calculation service it will also show the covered part so it says that it has been covered similarly we can what we can do is we can create few more test cases let me create other five test cases also so total five test cases i have created let me make it subtract other one multiply then divide then remainder so the thing is that here we were using sum let's go with the subtract one let's go with the multiply then divide then the remainder now again let's run this let me expand this part let's go to the coverage area now let's go to the coverage area here the test cases will run as you can see these are giving issues it says expected one but was eight yes correct so the test cases has failed the reason is that we have given sum as eight but in case of subtraction it will become different value that will become two in case of multiply it will become 15 in case of divide it will become one and in case of remainder it will become two so let's run it again and this time all the test cases as we can see here will pass so all nine of nine test cases has passed successfully coverage has increased this time it has gone to 76 percent now if you go to the and look at the calculation service it has also been covered as of now here the ways to do this coverage few things are also to be considered which i'm telling you you should keep in mind while doing the certain calculations instead uh, i've just shown it here in the same package the actual one it will become like it will go to the service part because it's a service class this is a service class so this will go to the service class into the service package so let me change it to service and this will let's remove these parts as we don't require these as of now now generally the things hap hap happen is like we have controller layer service layer repository layer, and other layers are also there generally those are not required to be considered so instead whatever things needs to be considered is mostly the service layers and their implementations and controller layers others configuration and these parts may be skipped out so the basic way is to segregate into different packages and on the basis of different packages take the code coverage and at least 70 percent code coverage should be there so it says error exists in the project let me cross check it yeah the calculation service should change the import from one place to different place since we have changed it to service layer so now let's restart this and on the package level we can segregate the coverage part and once the report is asked to provide it you can give on the basis of package that we have covered all the service layers like as shown here in the project you can so that we have covered the service layer as 100 percent and this is the basic configuration or main class may not require to be done and so your coverage is 100 percent 
so in this way we have seen how we can do the coverage of all the details and on the method level also you can see which is not there can be covered one more consideration to be taken off is that when we go for the coverage we generally some people think that how to call the private methods so if you are calling private i would say void uh make, make it some util suppose you are going with some util and you are calling this inside the sum part let me put it on the top little bit here and instead of this directly returning you can pass this these two parameters in the sum util and the sum util will be passed num1 and num2 and we can change the type to sum num1 and num2 and return it from num2 return it from here so what we are doing we are basically calling the sum method inside this sum util is there sum util is nothing but the private method so now, now the some people who are who are new to this mocking part may feel that how we can call this private part or private part of this code the thing is that when you are calling this private methods you don't need to worry about how we should call this private method because automatically when you are covering this this will also be covered let me show you through a demonstration when we will run this part again automatically the coverage of this code will come to private also so i have run this and all the test cases have passed regarding the coverage you can see it is 100% covered let me open it from here again run it so that it will show me a green color that's why i am looking into that part so if you go to this part all the test cases has passed if i go at this place if you see all the coverage has been done this sum util is there which is a private method but you can see this is also covered as of now so there is no need to worry about where, where we are calling and why it is not getting covered how should we call the private method because that private method will be accessible to this class only so we should call the main method automatically the private method which is there inside that will be covered as you can see it from here so in this way we can directly do the mocking testing and code coverage and provide the report that we have covered this much of test part and our code is ready at least 70% again i am saying is recommendable but it is advisable to go for the 100% touch even though if you are not going for the 100% at least try to be 90% code coverage so that if any new methods will be provided in future so it should not go beyond 70 thank you all for watching the video